Hey everybody, if you're into off-roading by now you've probably heard of the Sherp, that insane Russian off-road vehicle. Well this parked beside me, this is not a Sherp. Meet the Attack V Patrol. This thing is built here in Quebec, Canada and it is looking to get into the toughest off-road situations possible and that's what I want to show you. So in this video we'll go over the whole vehicle, I'll show you all the features, how it works, how it runs, and then we'll hit the bush and hit the swamp and see if we can't make it through. The patrol here truly is an international vehicle. About 50% of the parts actually come out of the USA. It's assembled right here in Quebec, Canada. These massive tires come from Russia and the power pack in here is actually a German diesel from a company called Hats. Now that is a two liter inline four cylinder diesel. In this application, it's making 74 horsepower and 170 pound feet of torque and it is hooked into a hydrostatic transmission. Okay, everybody, it's time to drive. This is my very first time in this Attack V Patrol. Uh, we're all set up. It's all controlled off this one joystick, so really simple. Uh, and yeah, I want to get a feel for this thing. Ah, I see. Okay, so there's a dead man switch on the joystick. You have to be holding the switch down to allow it to drive. And then the second you let go of that switch, it just comes to a dead stop. Now the other thing there are, there's technically five gears, although of course they're not actually gears because it's hydrostatic. So if I click this button on the joystick up, it gives me more speed, it essentially upshifts, but what it's actually doing is just allowing the pump to pump a little bit more fluid. It actually is opening up a valve a little bit and allowing more fluid out to allow the vehicle to drive faster. And you can shift on the fly. So I'm rolling now, hit the up button, and I get a little bit more speed out of her. Very, very cool. So let's take it up a little bit in my speed now. Nice. Now we're gonna try turning on the spot, ready? So this is literally turning right in its own circle. My left wheels are going backwards, my right wheels are going forwards. So if you're on the trail and you need to maneuver and just turn your nose, you can absolutely do it. <laughs> This is going to be a little rough on the trail below you, but that's so cool that you can just spin right in a circle, right in its own length. And a lot of these machines, like the Sherp for example, is controlled by two joysticks. You break the right or break the left, but just the single joystick makes this thing so simple and so intuitive. This is clearly an extreme off-road vehicle. So who exactly is buying these things? Well, Attack V engineered this patrol for professionals. People in the oil patch, the mining industry, uh, an electric company laying out new power lines, and then of course, the military. Now there are actually a couple of things on here that the military had listed on their requirement sheet. Two of them right up front are these heavy duty D-rings, the military absolutely needs those. And then that hatch up there on top of the roof, they call it an observation hatch. So that means that they paid attention to those specs and now if Attack V wants to bid on that military contract, they absolutely can. One of the things simply making this patrol look so cool are those dual exhausts up there, but they're not what they appear. One of them is an exhaust for the diesel and the other one is actually a snorkel. That's where the diesel is breathing from and it's nice to get both of them up so high so you have no exhaust coming in your face and you're also just breathing nice clean air into your engine. Another thing they've done with the vehicle is made the sight lines really good. So I can actually see right down to that tire and right down to my other tire. It really helps you to know exactly what you're crashing over because this tire is under my butt. The axle is right under my butt. It's a little bit hard to see. Most off-road vehicles, that tire is in front of you. In this vehicle, you're riding right on top of those tires. So to understand what 
what's actually right underneath you. You need good sight lines, and that's why I have so much glass around me up here. And the fact that you can see the tops of the tires means that you know exactly where you are. Ground clearance down here is a very generous 20 inches, and the approach angle is 30 degrees. And then the other key is the fact that you have this skid plate and you have this angle right here. If you do hit a stump, it's just going to bump up over and keep on moving. And this is all solid, so you don't have to worry about anything going through underneath. Of course, a huge part of this patrol are the tires. Now these things are monsters. They are 64 inches tall, 25 inches wide, sitting on 25 inch wheels. And these are proper bead lock wheels. So currently there's only six PSI in these things, but you can technically go right down to zero because these bead locks are gonna hold them on the wheel. Now the real key here is flotation and surface area. Once you get in the water, these things are actually gonna help the vehicle to float. But then when you're on in the mud out here in the fields you have a huge surface area so you're not really putting a lot of force into the ground actually you walking through a field your foot will put more force than this tire will just because the weight is so spread out over such a large surface area that huge footprint helps these stock tires to be less intrusive to the environment below them than a set of big paddle tires and they also make sure that the vehicle doesn't just sink into the muck if you do want big paddle tires though, ATAC V is happy to sell them to you as optional equipment and I actually saw a garage full of them. And you are about to see a situation where those paddles would have been appreciated. Let's watch Claude, the owner and founder of the company, tackle the swamp and you will see the drawbacks of not going with more aggressive stock tires. These tires just don't have huge grip in this soupy mud, although you'll want to stick around to see exactly how Claude gets himself out of this mess.
model you're actually looking at right here is the patrol work truck. It's the base model and it comes with this steel bed back here. Now the bed does have heavy duty D-rings for tying things down, places where you can move cleats in and out, and then of course just a lot of space for storage. But if you want to bring people along, you can also get a full camper setup, an enclosed cab, which will house eight people in the back and two up front. So you could take 10 people out to a remote work site, no problem. But here's maybe the coolest application. Because the Patrol uses a hydrostatic transmission, it has the hookups for hydraulics. So essentially anything you can imagine that uses hydraulics can be installed back here. One example I can show you is a small crane that the company actually designed to go on the back of this Patrol. So at the end of the day, really if you can dream it and it runs on hydraulics, they can build it. All right, everybody, now you've seen it in the deep mud. We're now, we're out here in the bush. <laughs> and let's see how this thing does. Oh my goodness, you can just get so much angle coming down that hill, and it just feels fine. It never feels like it wants to go over on you. It's, it's incredible how stable this thing can be. Absolutely stable. like this is literally crashing through the bush. This thing is really for making your own trail. It's for going to places that have never been explored, that have never been touched, and then absolutely just blazing through them. You don't have to worry about what's going on with underneath your vehicle. It's all totally sealed up. You don't have to worry about crashing over these things because you have a bumper and a steel bar in the front. There's so little to worry about here. It's just crazy. <laughs> wow, it's so fun. For towing on this unit, there are a pair of hitches. One of them is right up here in the front, so you can pull things from the front. And then of course you have a hitch out here in the rear. And the tow capacity on this vehicle is 5,000 pounds, while the payload capacity that you can put back there in the bed is 2,000 pounds. And even once it's all loaded up, it will still float. Maybe just barely, but it will float. Well, now you have seen it in action and learned all about it, the big questions remain. What does it cost and when can you get one? Well, in the United States, the price on this unit, exactly as you see it here, is $105,000. Here in Canada, we're talking about $130,000. Now, these are available right now here in Canada. In the United States, they should become available within the next six months. And if you're interested, head over to the Attack V website for more information. So everybody, that is it for this video. Please go down in the comments. Let me know what you think of this patrol. Let me know if you think you'd rather have it than a Sherp. And let me tell you guys, if we can arrange a comparison between this thing, a fat truck, and a Sherp, we absolutely will. So stay tuned for that. As always, while you're down there, hit like, hit subscribe, and then come right back here to the channel for the latest news, views, and real world reviews. See ya.